hello everybody, it is Mizuki Vesta 666 here, and uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas pretty much everywhere across the world, unless you don't really celebrate Christmas. But anyway, I'm bringing you a 20 questions video, which me and uh, this random baldy fucking thing is going to answer. He's going to answer? We are going to answer. Christmas tree! So, we have 20 questions <coughs> that we are going to go through and answer. One, well, the first one is, what are you going to do on Christmas Eve slash day? And I was going to prepare some Christmas, uh, dinner. Christmas dinner. and uh, Homemade fudge. Yeah, going to make some homemade fudge and, and, and a Lots gingerbread of house. presents. Yeah, presents to give out and shit. And on Christmas Day, we're obviously going to be eating and eating and opening some presents and eating chocolate. I'm going to be making... Um, it's, uh, it's, I'm gonna do like chicken wrapped in bacon and sausage meat stuffing and like all sorts of sides and stuff and then we're gonna have Ben and Jerry's for after and then we're also gonna what are we gonna do? We're gonna have cheesecake for after as well and I'm, as I said I'm gonna make some fudge and that's basically what Christmas is gonna be like. What's your favourite colour or colours? My favourite colour is green. Black. So emo. <laughs> Question number three. What is your favourite and least favourite thing about YouTube. My favourite thing about YouTube is you can learn loads of stuff. It's a really good way to, like, well I suppose for everybody to get across their opinion and get what they think and believe in their opinion out there in the world. But the worst thing about YouTube is when people just specifically do it for money. And when they get like, I don't know, like a million subscribers or whatever. And then they just like put up short like three minute videos and then it's just like, oh money. They don't really care about the subscribers. Question number four. What's your favourite smell? Napalm. Napalm. My favourite smell is probably the smell of freshly baked bread. What is your most embarrassing moment? Being caught singing some like screamo song when I was like 13. Stepdad who walked in called me a weirdo. He really looked did. at me and went, you're an odd boy. <laughs> My most embarrassing moment was in science. I was probably in like year 7. We were reading from this book and I was like, oh, blah, 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 organisms. I was supposed to say organisms. Well, I wasn't. I didn't say organisms. I said orgasms. And <laughs> And everyone laughed at me. So yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Longest relationship ever had. Yo, this one. Yeah. Almost three years. Three years in February. February the third. I have good memory. I have good remembering. Much intelligence. Do you have any siblings? I don't. I have two sisters. One brother. My real dad is such a whore. I probably have about eight sisters and twelve brothers. Most romantic thing you've ever done. I don't think we've ever really done anything overly romantic. Field walk. Yeah, like just going on a walk. It's probably about it. What's your favourite childhood memory? Thinking I caused an earthquake. <laughs> there was this floorboard and it was slanted on another one. It was stamped, fell over, and then in the news there was like this earthquake that happened. It wasn't an earthquake, it was a tremor. I thought somehow I magically made the pipe shake that much, but no. Probably my favourite childhood memory would be when I used to camp in my back garden and have an extension lead running through the cat flap into my tent and I'd take my little portable TV in and I'd like, watch TV in my tent, eat popcorn. I had a couple of friends stay over and one of them uh, saw a plastic bag on a fence and <laughs> thought it was a ghost and got really scared until I was just like, haha, it's just a plastic bag, like, haha, stupid. <laughs> Do you remember your dreams? Yeah. I had a really bad nightmare about chickens, you know, frosted glass, how you can only see stuff when you're like right up close to it. There was this chicken, pair of chicken feet just tapping against glass. I remember punching the window, telling it to fuck off, then like loads of them came along, like blah, 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 loads of chicken feet like that. Then the door opened and I got chased up the stairs by like this horde of chickens. I don't really remember a lot of my dreams. I do remember one that's when I just went to the Ferrari factory and I just got to drive a load of Ferraris and then I kept running into people that had really nice cars like Aston Martins and it was a bit like GTA, I suppose I kind of like ran them down and like stole their car. It was fun though. In my mm. dream it was Asha. Okay. Whoa. Holy mother of shit. Okay. Toe socks, crocs and camo. What's your view on these horrendous creations? How I like the fuck toe is socks. Camo a horrendous creation. I like toe socks. Camo would save you in a fucking instant if you need to hide. But if you're on about the fat markings? sweaty cunts going around wearing camo fucking shorts with like fucking crocs and toe socks and yeah, that <laughs> yeah, is a obviously, bit bad. Obviously all together it would look so bad. Crocs absolutely fucking terrible, they're horrible, I hate them, I've never walked, well, 
No, I suppose I wore sort of I similar things. Do you remember jelly shoes from when you were little? Do you think religion is ruining the world? I do. Uh, religion has caused the most wars. I'm sure that religion has caused the most deaths and the most disputes. Fuck religion. Do you think video games are bad for people? I believe video games are bad for the young. I mean, like, if you give a four year old. Oh, Mario is eight mushrooms. No, not a fucking. Bricks, I'm not talking about I think Mario. I'll go out and start no. doing that. No, Glenn. I'm talking about, like, give it, if you give a fucking three year old manhunt. Do you know what I mean? Like games like that, you've got to be strict be on what sort of games you give to a child, I think. That's what I'm saying. For children, I think you've got to like go with the age kind of thing. So in a nutshell, video games aren't bad for people. <laughs> yeah, and uh, obviously Molly to take a getting break up from to it. the toilet to take a shit and then have a wash up too. Okay, now I've been looking forward to this question. Does we really help people? I believe yes it does. <laughs> In like California, they make the cannabis oils and they give it to people to help like arthritis and mental disorders and all kinds of stuff like that. If people go through chemotherapy, chemotherapy puts you off eating and stuff. If you have some cannabis oil or some like edible cannabis stuff, it like spurs their their appetite. It's been uh, it's been proven in most cases that it's it's uh, done people well, so I believe it. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? I always take, every time I stayed in a hotel, I've taken the fucking stuff. And like, I'm taking all of this stuff. You see shouldn't. I've, I've, like, taken towels, like, fucking... <laughs> I've taken towels, cups, fucking... All sorts, soap, hair, stuff, and, yeah. I still stuff in hotels. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yep. Yeah, countless I've times, took actually. shit in the woods, and all. So have I, countless times. Well, not, not taking a shit in the woods countless times. Probably, like, two or three times. I'm well, pretty recent. When but sometimes you, and you need a shit. You take a shit. I was gonna say like when you need to you go, you need to around go. The you poop around the bush. No, you shit in the bush, <laughs> and then you punch it. Do you watch anime? And if you do, watch your favorite anime shows. You first. I wanna know what's your favorite. Sort of watch it. Uh, I can only watch it in Japanese though, because the English language in anime is just really awful. Especially like Naruto. Believe it. Huh? Yeah. I've, I've watched... got to get six Pokeballs! <laughs> Just like, no, fuck off. I've been watching anime for years, I've watched all sorts of animes, but my favourite's probably got to be, yeah, it, Death Note is my favourite, as well as Naruto and Bleach. They're Bleach definitely my time favourites, but I've got loads of favourites like Elf and Lied, uh... Elf and Lied is good. <laughs> you just copy what I'm saying! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Helsing is Helsing. wicked, like, Helsing. ultimate Helsing. What's your favourite food? Pancakes, cheesecake, I my want favorite. Ben and Jerry's, fudge, and everything else on Christmas. My favourite is lasagna. And chocolate. Lasagna and chocolate sounds like a really bad mix. No, it's a wicked mix. That's wicked mix. How old are you? We are both 20 12. years old. Year is 12. I'm 20. Okay, last question is, where's the worst place you've ever been lost? Fucking used to be this place called Charlie Chalks which is a bit like Chuck E. Cheese's, and uh, I got fucking lost in the <laughs> fucking... <laughs> it's funny. It's really fucking Still hilarious. Still fucking haunts me. Oh, no. <laughs> Just alone in Charlie Chalk's like, oh, nah. oh no. <laughs> did punching bag things, and like, there was about 20 in this little room that you had to crawl through. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, I remember that, yeah. yeah. I remember getting picked on by these, like, little lads, you know, like, punching me. Like from beyond the punching bag, so I just wanted to leave. I uh, eventually got grabbed out by my mum. And that's <laughs> the biggest fucking kicking self esteem ever. Oh, my mum rescued me. Oh. Worst place I've ever been lost, I think, has got to be when me and my mum were moving to Spain. I don't know, we did get lost a few times in Spain and going through Spain and like France and stuff, getting lost on the way. Yeah, we got lost a few times and it was pretty scary because you don't know the country and I don't, well, you obviously don't really speak the language with from England and I lived in Spain for a while but I still don't speak Spanish and I got lost a few times in Spain <coughs> when I was living there and yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit scary because I had to ask the fucking people where I was going and it wasn't fun. So yeah, that is the 20 questions and we are done and uh, Merry Christmas guys and I hope you have a good time. So yeah, I will see you guys next video and hopefully I'll do another one before Christmas. If not, I hope you guys have a good Christmas and a happy new year and all that kind of stuff. Hooray! Hooray! So yeah, Merry Christmas and I'll see you next video. Bye! Bye!
Whoa! <laughs> Did it really quick. I look very sexy with a big mouth, don't I? Glenn's mouth is here too! God damn it. <laughs> He's turning into your eyes instead. <laughs> look at you. Oh, rape face. <laughs> Mind of its own. Oh, Wallace. Oh, Wallace. Oh, Wallace. Oh, Wallace.